John Newland shares a story from his book, Ordinary, An Ordinary Man's Experience with God. Someone tried to steal a tool, a very important tool from him that he borrowed, and once again he was provoked to harm someone. But find out how God intervened and turned what looked like a tragedy into understanding, blessing, and life transformation. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. Most people don't understand that love yes. and being kind to some will can turn somebody whose yes. heart is literally yes. set on hurting you. Yes. I mean, how can a soft cookie turn yeah. a hard heart yeah. and a hard man with Because big it's the word of the Lord. Yeah. It's the word of the Lord. It's powerful. There's people yeah. out there right now that are under deep persecution and they're thinking that I need to max them in the physical response. Right. But you're talking about humbling yourself right. and trusting God. And praying for him. Yeah, and praying for them and being kind. Right. All right, yeah. so later on, yeah. okay, okay. because, and I don't want to brag on myself, but because I had favor with right. the bosses, right. because I always worked, I was never late, mm -hmm. I always did what, on, he would work me in the winter, okay? Right. And I had a gr good garden, and I had a hoe that my landlord had loaned me, and it was a different kind of a hoe. You've probably never seen one like it. It had a long, long shank coming back out of about an inch wide, and it was on a hickory handle. It's a good hoe. Mm -hmm. So I took it in to sharpen before we started work. Right. Not during work, before right. we started work. <laughs> right. This is before daylight, and I sharpened my hoe. Mm -hmm. Roy comes up, and he snatches the hoe, I don't know how he did it, right out of my hand. Oh, wow. And he Your said, landlord's hoe. My landlord's hoe. Not right. my, it was right. not my hoe. Right. Otherwise, I might have given it to him. Right. He snatched it and started oh. walking off. And so, all of a sudden, adrenaline rose up in me. <laughs> and somehow, I had this quickness in my steps. And I very quickly right. ran up beside him and snatched the hoe back. Mm -hmm. And when he started coming at me, I pulled it back. Mm -hmm. And once again, Rowan knew right then. He was a dead man walking because I would have put that hoe right between his eyes. He felt it and I felt it. Thank Whoa. God Roy backed off. Oh, I didn't want that hoe. I was only joking with you, John. I didn't want your hoe. Okay, and I right. said, well, I, Roy, I would have given it to you, right. but it's my landlord's hoe. I'm going to go put it in the truck. Right. So now I'm working at my landlord's farm, mm -hmm. and I'm in his barn, okay? And I look up, and lo and behold, on the side up there, about 16 feet up, it's a real high barn, is a hoe head just like that hoe. Mm. I thought, i got to give that to Roy. So I went running on a trot up to my landlord's house, and All I right. said, Mr. Dammer, mm -hmm. I said, I feel strange asking this, but there's a hoe head up on the side of your barn, and right. I'll give you whatever you ask me for pay. Right. i, I got to have it. Mm -hmm. He said, you want it that bad? He said, son, you figured out a way to get up there. I'll give it to you. So I took it home and I, I shined it all up. Right. I bought a brand new wooden handle that was made out of hickory right. and it looked perfect. I took it into work mm -hmm. and I went up to Roy early before daylight. I said, Roy, I got something for you. Right. He looked at it, he goes, that's for me? Oh. It meant something to him, see? Wow. I know, and guess what? what? Over a period of time, Roy and I became the tightest friends, the tightest wow. best friends and Roy got saved. Oh, so wow. here's the name of the story. Uh -huh. Overcome evil with good. Yeah. Wow, that's powerful. Yeah. That's, that's so important. I think about, you know, Dr. Martin Luther King says, you, you know, evil can't drive out evil, only love can do yeah. that. Yeah. Love's darkness, the answer. Yeah. And it, but all the things he had to face, you know, but yeah, he said the only thing that's going to win right. is love. Yeah. You know, that's that's huge. I mean, right. that's huge right there. I mean, God give us the grace to be able to love others. Right. That's what the world needs is the love of God. Right. right. They're mostly they're acting out because they're wounded. Right. See, their daddy or their mama either left them or hurt them. Right. They're just hurting people. Right. And so we've got a world of opportunity with each one. Here's what I try to say. Uh -huh. Try to listen. Mm. Try to listen. Try to listen and then they'll begin to tell you where their wound is or their or their hurt. And then, if you can, minister the love of God. Listening is probably the, the greatest thing that we could do, right? Yeah. Well, how, how do you, what would be a good, a good thing you could tell somebody if you're talking to them about how, how to listen? Well, Jesus said, listen with your heart that you might understand. Right. Okay, so 
really it's closing your mouth, okay? Mm. It's making them the focus, mm. the focus, not listening so you know what to answer, but listening so that you could understand what's in their heart. Right. I think that's the, that's the key. And I'm not saying I can do it. Right. I'm trying, well, to, all, yeah, I'm trying to do that. But yeah. Jesus said, he says, that the mouth speaks from the overflow of the heart. So if we right. listen to him, right, right, then we're knowing what their heart is full of. Right. That's right. And, we can, and God will give us wisdom to, to respond. That's, good. That's so good. Lord, help me to be a better listener. That's good. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. Subscribe. Listen, together we can touch the world. That's right. Subscribe below. Right. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Don't go away. Subscribe. We're going to touch the world. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. Hey, be sure to check us out at vfnkb.com and also join the VFNKB community at vfnkbcommunity.com. Listen, your success is our success. Our success is your success. And our success together is kingdom success.